he doesn't sign it, waits a period of time. When's the last time you talked to President Obama? Uh, last weekend. And did you call him? Did he no, call No, he you? called me. And what did you talk about? Well, actually, he called me. My mother had passed away, and so he called me to offer his condolences. Uh, but I, I try to write him about every week or two, write him a note, encourage him, and, and, and in the hopes that, you know, he, he has, there's nobody has a tougher job than he does. Did you do uh, the same with President Bush? No, I didn't have a good relationship, a, a great relationship with President Bush. You have a better relationship with President Obama? Oh, by Obama? far. By far. Really? How did that develop? Well, we, we came into the Senate together, and uh, I just have a lot of admiration for him. Uh, I'm, per, I'm 180 degrees from him on policy on most issues, uh, but I, I think he's a wonderful man. Why didn't you have a good relationship with President Bush? Because I was too critical of him in my campaign as, of, as far as the spending, the growth of government. and uh, I, I think he's a terrific man, too, but uh, I just didn't have the personal relationship that I have because I didn't spend as much time with him either. And uh, have you ever talked in-depth health care with President Obama? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it there. Okay. Unless you want to add to that. Well, it, it, you know, we all uh, have to address uh, those that brought us to the party. Uh, and if this bill passes, he will have probably pleased, or at least up until yesterday, I guess, would have pleased a lot of that brought him to the dance. Uh, I think we have some ideas uh, uh, that we could, in fact, uh, come together on. Matter of fact, I, I had an observation and, and really had, I think, had the president followed this advice, and I didn't give it to him ahead of time, uh, and I really feel kind of guilty that I didn't. When he came to speak to the joint session of Congress in, in September uh, on health care, what he should have said, rather than be confronted, what he should have said is, I haven't led well on this. I've been busy on all these, and that we can't pass major pieces of legislation unless we take the middle of America, or the, and it's the middle of the senators. And I'm not in that middle. I understand that. I'm over to the right. I'm very conservative senator, but take the the middle group, and get a consensus there and build out. And 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 had he drawn people together, truly drawn them together, like what he wanted to do, uh, and I believe he he did want to do that, uh, that we would see a much different bill that you wouldn't see the partisan rancor about it. You wouldn't see the, the, the clashing that we're seeing now. Uh, and that we would be a long ways towards fixing a lot of the health care problem. It wouldn't have had a public plan in it, but it also wouldn't have had the things Tom Coburn might like as a conservative in it. But as a physician, we need to fix health care, but we don't need to fix it with 2.5. The prescription I would give for health care in America is that we don't need to spend more money. We need to make sure the money we are spending gets spent in the places where it'll do the most good, and that isn't happening today. And that's because we have disrupted the market forces in health care. We're keeping uh, Senator Coburn just a few more minutes. We'll take these last two calls quickly, and then we'll let you get on your day. St.